Hey, welcome back, guys. Hey, uh, I just received this machine literally like two days ago. Um, and it has a bad card in it, uh, card number two. You can see here, wires are disconnected on it. Got the approval from Bitmain to actually uh, take the card out and send it back to them so they'll send me a brand new card. Now, with these cards, there's a serial number on each card that matches the machine serial number. So you cannot take a card from another machine that's out of warranty and try to interchange them uh, to get a warranty repair for a card that is no longer valid. So you always <laughs> make sure that your card is the one that comes out of the machine. But these are actually really easy to get out. You know, you take the back fan off, take the back panel off, four screws, uh, literally five minutes, unplug the cables, and the cables have this nice little locking clasp on it. So you got to squeeze that and pull out. Don't just try to pull it out because it will not come out. You'll end up breaking it. Um, then you'll have to order another cable from Bitmain. Anyway, the card, real simple, just slides right out. Now, the cool thing about these are you can actually um, put the machine back together and let it run until your new card comes. Now, I live in California, so I'm, the, the uh, repair center is actually just right down the hill from me, but uh, they don't want you to show up there with your broken equipment. They want you to um, mail it to them and then send a copy of the receipt uh, in with the repair ticket so you can scan the receipt or take a picture of it and then send it in with it and they'll reimburse you by giving you credit on their website towards uh, their products uh, whether it be spare parts spare fans or buying another machine so pr fairly simple um, but anyway I've just removed the card as you can see I uh, don't know what the heck went wrong with it, but all I know is this thing would not hash for anything. Every every single chip on it came up dead. Um, yeah. So, just, anyway, that was, uh, that was the problem I was having with it. I'm trying to get a good picture of that. Let's see. Yeah, right there. There's my serial number for this particular machine. Like I said, it's got, it's got the serial number on each board. So now, if you're really careful with that, you might actually be able to yank that off and put it on another board, but I wouldn't suggest it. Uh, really get yourself in trouble with Bitmain if they catch you on it. Um, um, and plus, their boards all have version numbers and everything else, so I'm pretty sure they'd probably catch you. Uh, other than that, real simple boards. Um, you know, not, not much to them, just the chips and a way to get the, uh, hashing out of them. That's it. So, but yeah, uh, in order to actually apply for a repair, I mean, I literally applied for the repair. A half hour later, I got the okay to tear this thing apart. It's real simple. You need a, you need to, um, pull up your system overview take a screenshot of your system overview for the machine so that they can tell if you've overclocked it. Um, there's a way around that too. You can just reflash the firmware and it covers up the fact that you've overclocked it, but you better run it for a day or two afterwards. So that way it shows that it's had runtime on it. Uh, another one, another thing you can do, uh, or ne the next thing you need to do is you need to go to the minor status page and take a screenshot of that to include in your repair request. Uh, next thing after that that you need to do is you need to take a picture of your machine serial number. This little tag right there. That The machine serial number right there. So that way um, you can actually, uh, or that way they can verify which machine it is. And then I take one extra step beyond that. I go and I take a screenshot of the warranty screen at bitmain.com showing that the warranty is valid on the machine. That way they can't argue the validity of the of the warranty. Um, but anyway, 
And once you send all that in, they can also ask you if you reseeded all your cables. Make sure you've done that too and rebooted the machine. Uh, they're going to also ask you if you've reloaded the firmware into the machine. You can go to their website and download the latest firmware. It literally takes three minutes to reload it. It's basically like a reboot of the machine once you load the new software in. But always back up your old software and make sure uh, that you always have a good working set of software before you do that. Um, then uh, after that, uh, you put all that into the trouble ticket and they will give you the okay to go ahead and yank this thing apart. And then they'll, they'll send it in an email and make sure you reply back to them saying that you just wanted to confirm that you had the okay to tear the machine apart to pull the hash board out so you won't void the warranty. When you have that in writing, your warranty is good on this thing still after you take it apart. So that's just another uh, fun fact I found out with them. Um, so other than that, uh, checking for the hash board. When you know you've got a bad hash board and it's showing on your uh, on your screen that you've got a bad hash board. I got lucky. I picked the right one to unplug first. But uh, if you don't know how to read these boards, this is board one, board two, board three, and board four on the machine or on the uh, status screen when you're looking at it. So board two, I just uh, literally went out to uh, my uh, mining operation. Un I turned the power off on this machine, unplugged this cable and the power cables just for this card, and then turned the machine back on to verify that I unplugged the correct or that the correct card was disabled at that point. Once I knew that that was the correct card, then uh, I knew exactly which board to pull out. Now you can uh, the, that's the way that they tell you to, uh, Bitmain even to find the bad card is to start on board one, on, uh, turn off your equipment, unplug the cables, turn it back on. If you still have a bad board on there when you turn it on, then you plug that and you go turn it off again, plug all the cables back in, go to the next board and uh, unplug all those cables, power, power cables and the uh, USB cable right there. Uh, this way, uh, and then turn it back on again and see if you no longer have a board that's hashing bad in there. Um, and the board will disappear on the screen. It will not show up once you remove the uh, actual board's power and uh, USB cable from it. So it will not show up on the screen. It'll just show us three boards on an L3 Plus instead of four boards. On a D3, it'll show up as three boards, or two boards instead of uh, three boards. So real simple. And uh, you don't have to uh, lose... 100% of your hashing power on that machine, you just pull the board, like I said, put it all back together, go plug it in, wait for about a week and a half, two weeks for your for your uh, new board to come in, and uh, you're good to go. Uh, that simple. Anyway, uh, another thing, just wanted to show you real quick. I've got uh, eight of these printers running now uh, for my uh, fan shrouds. Uh, so they're... Uh, going a little crazy and then I've got a new product I'm trying not to show that one there too much because it's uh, still going through the uh, uh, patent check but uh, you can see I got another one there got one here got a couple more machines back over there and so on and so forth but yeah and the fan shrouds I've actually streamlined them a little the, I've uh, taken out the little gap I had in the front. This one I haven't cleaned up yet for shipment, but it's a lot cleaner, a lot nicer looking. It actually fits a lot better. Uh, and there's people asking about the uh, pressurization of the fans. This works wonders on your machines. It actually cools it down. Um, every machine that I have them on right now, which because I've had so many orders for them, I haven't been able to um, actually uh, um, put them on every one of my machines because <laughs> I'm trying to fill the orders as fast as they come in but uh, about, I, I ended up at one point in time almost two weeks behind but I bought enough 3D printers since then to where I'm 
uh, where I've now got it knocked down to about three to four days behind on average. So, and I figure about another day or so, and I w should be able to print them as the orders come in and then uh, get them out the door um, within, a, within a day or two. So, and then after that, I'm just going to stockpile a bunch of them so I can just ship as I get the orders. So that way no one's waiting on them. And I, I've, I've gotten orders um, for them all the way as far away as Australia and Germany. Um, I've had a person in Australia, he's now ordered uh, two different sets of them. Uh, so that's kind of cool. Uh, and I've got a guy in Florida that's also ordered uh, two different sets of them too. So I, uh, I appreciate the return business. And, um, but the uh, guy in Australia, he literally received his uh, fan shrouds two days before he reordered again. And the next time he reordered, he ordered even more of them because they did such a good job on his machines. So I, I kind of like that. That's kind of a good compliment for the design on them. So anyway, any questions, uh, go ahead and uh, uh, ask me any questions you want to ask. Uh, I'll try to respond usually within uh, 24 hours. It just depends on how busy I am. And lately I've been so busy, uh, I've been really cutting my sleep time even short just so I can keep up uh, with uh, all the demand for everything I've got going on now. And it's going to get even worse once I release this new product. Uh, there's a lot of people that this uh, new product will actually uh, complement, um, make their, help them even cool their mining operation down even more, uh, their room that the mining operation is in without uh, doing a bunch of funky things. It'll, it'll fit right in line with everything you already have. So stay tuned for that. I'm hoping to have that one, that video ready to go here uh, within the next uh, week or so. Um, anyway, Thank you for watching, and uh, go ahead and uh, have a good rest of the day.